product review time. So these are a couple of products that I like to use. I like to use them on the daily. I think they're just very, very good products. And that is a trigger point ball and a foam roller. Now I know you guys have probably seen or know of the foam roller 101 that I did a while ago. You could just type it into YouTube on our channel. You'll find it. Um, you might see the mobility and stretching workshop also has some foam rolling in it. Um, definitely go back and look at those because I do think it's very important to do those. Foam rollers can be used for stretching. They can be used for mobility work. They can also be used for core strength. I recommend the larger ones um, so you can kind of fully lay on it and a lacrosse ball for trigger point work. So basically we have a lacrosse ball. You never want to roll the lacrosse ball on a bone or on your organs. So we're not going to put the lacrosse ball, for example, stand up here. Um, we're not going to put the lacrosse ball where our organs are. So there's no bone covering here. My rib cage ends here. My hip bones start here. So I'm not going to put anything, any type of rolling motion on that. Um, I'm also not going to roll directly onto my spine. I'm not going to roll directly on top of a bone. Um, none of those things. None of those things is what we want to do, but this is really good to get into those little tiny spots. So like the spot between your shoulder blade and your spine, your trap, um, your hip flexor. Okay. Those are going to be really good ones to get into that piriformis. If you really need that extra oomph could be put there. Um, you can use this on a calf muscle and then you can also use it on the bottom of your foot. Okay. I'm seeing more slippers right now, but you can also use it on the bottom of your foot. So that is a really good way to use these. You always want to roll with the muscles. So oh, also chest, I forget. So you'd roll with the muscle of the chest. You're not going to roll up and down. It's not the way your chest muscle goes. Okay. So you're rolling this way. If you're doing a back muscle, you're going up and down. You're going to go side to side here. You can just sit on things. Same thing with the calf muscle. You'd be going up and down, um, following that muscle fiber with this. Um, the other thing, like I said, that I recommended was a foam roller. Now I have a couple of different ones. This is my favorite one. Um, as you can see, it is pretty large. It will be able to fit me. Um, and it's entirely laying on it, which is very important because when you do lay on it, I'm going to use my wall here actually, um, as me pretending that I'm on the floor, you can see that my head can rest on it as well as my tailbone. Um, it's a great, great way to make contact, uh, with the floor, especially if you have a rib cage flare. Um, this is something that you can use. So for example, we're going to move you guys over to the floor here. Um, as we change positions. Hello, welcome to the floor. Um, so what you can do with this, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough space, we're gonna figure it out, um, is you can actually lay on this in its completion, right? So I am head to, you cannot see anything. Hold on, we're gonna tip. There we go, all right. So we are here on the ground. We have our head to our tailbone glued. Right now I actually have a bit of a, see my hand here, um, an arch. So I wanna make sure that I am tilting back and making contact with that foam roller. Um, this alone is opening up your palms is a really great way to stretch out your chest to just relax the back muscles just by laying here. Um, another thing you do this again is anything core. So I'm gonna put my hands on the floor here, but you can do legless here and add a bit of stability to it. It's actually very, very difficult um, to do on the ground. Here's Toast coming to say hello uh, in the way of my video, but that's okay. Uh, but you could do all types of core exercises on that foam roller to add stability and make things a little bit harder, uh, make those muscles that we don't really work that much work a little bit more. We're gonna introduce some muscles in that we don't normally work, like those little tiny tendons and ligaments and all that fun stuff. Um, if you have any questions on types of foam rollers, trigger point, anything like that, feel free to leave a comment below.